A very good evening and welcome once again back to the Diaspora Urgent Question with me, your host Carol Nyakujga. And of course, tonight is an exciting night. It is again a Sunday and it's time for the Diaspora Urgent Question. As we always promise you, this is the show where we aim to bust the myth that says Mazimba Sapotani. Well, we are a different breed of Zimbabweans, progressive and going for it and so i am so honored and humbled and pleased and everything else to have the pleasure of being in the company of an amazing woman uh, that i look up to personally and so i want to just invite you to meet Fundai Demera. <laughs> <laughs> and thank tonight you. we are actually in Fungai's home Fungai, thank you thank yeah, you welcome. once again thank yeah, you welcome. so much yeah, welcome. you know and and we started to have this conversation didn't we uh where we were talking about you know sort of how things have been and your life story and i, I can't believe <laughs> you hey Sagarumana, I can't believe it. I mean, those of you that don't know Fungai, maybe that are wondering why I'm so excited and maybe why some other people that are out there are excited. Fungai, I'll just tell them um, who you are. Um, and, okay. um, you know, if you wouldn't mind just kind of saying what, what you do. Why, why would someone like me be totally excited? To <laughs> so if you just want to tell them who you are. Okay, guys. Hi, Zimbo Life. Thank you so much for having me, Caroline. Well, thank you for having us. Moscana, I don't got a chitty tumbles, honestly, guys. I should have forgot. Come on, Zimbo Live. I thought, okay, today I'm gonna come Aww. and I'm gonna lay it out there as we come to the end of 2017. Mm -hmm. Somebody, maybe just someone, one or two people, if they can be inspired, then thank God for that. So, anywhere when you forget in the mirror, you go to business strategist, your coach, your mentor. I am a serial entrepreneur. I believe that this life that God has given us, there's so much more that we can do. I believe that there's no reason any of us, I believe that in this life, there is no reason why we should be counting my coins. Because God has got a plan for us. So in, in what I do is when God picked me up, Nikawaya Kunoku UK started business 17 years ago. Where I am now, I have been chosen. I believe part of my part and parcel of my purpose is to inspire others by sharing my story, sharing with you guys and saying, guys, it can be done. Because but here I am, you know, I run my businesses across the globe. But yeah, here I am. It is what it is. So it's not about kuti It's not about that, guys. It's about are you willing and obedient to do what it takes? And are you tired of being poor? And if you are, then this guy is the limit. I'll go in excuse. Yeah. I, I can't see why no. Okay. I can't see why no. So that, it so is that, what it is. I mean, if you obviously <laughs> you started telling us the journey of how life was for you, the dynamic mm -hmm. and the, the relationship that was there between sort of, you know, your parents and the difficulty, sure. young people, yeah. you know, and, and maybe that is a, a common thread, a, a story that maybe someone out there may have experienced <coughs> themselves. Mm. Saka, how did you then manage? I do this right now. You, you, you also were repeated and things. Or has the manager say for Zimbabwe? Or actually, what time was training in Zimbabwe? Yeah, I did. Did you tell me about that one, Mimi? No, no, I think I don't want to come. Did you manage to go to that one? What, what was nest training like there? Oh my God, Caroline, <laughs> you know. That, like I'm saying, Kutika, yeah. when you are starting in this life, mm -hmm. the pieces of the puzzle, they yeah. are never clear or nausea. Mm. There are so many obstacles, so many difficulties. Yeah. I mentioned, Kutika, in the case of four years, in the four years, all over, all over. Kutika, in four years. But I, I was a brilliant student. I, mm. Naturally, brilliant number one, grade one to grade seven. Mm. Pandino, in the street, grade seven. Ndakuno nyora grade seven, my dad loses his job, and you know he loses his job to what? He got a girl pregnant. Kubasa. He's got all these kids. Takawana ne uanda kwe duko koko. He gets a girl pregnant. Wara kubasa kuya kuya. Vanu vanorwa. Kuma basa kuya. My dad loses his job. 
Ini ndiri grade 7. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about me, my siblings. I'm going to talk about the drama that were at their age and whatever level they were. So grade 7, Danyora, what happens? Darawangu, I've told you. God bless him anyway. I think he's watching from his grave. And if he was here today, my dad, mm. he would have been so proud of me. Okay. Because though he was a, an irresponsible man, yeah. but he loved his kids so much. Oh. You know, he loved us so much. Anyway, mm. he, he, mm. he sells that house, two rooms, yeah. he sold that two rooms for 10 grand. 10 Zimbabwe, 10,000 Zimbabwe dollars. Uh, in Bayeze. In Bayeze, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Mm -hmm. We had to move Guru Garaku Musha, my dear. Yeah. Yeah. So we moved when I was grade seven. Yeah. 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 New clothes, new everything. Meantime, Kumusha kuye kwa tiri kuye nda Karurain. Hakuna imba ye kutitinurara. So, from being grade 7, form 1, form 2, Kumusha kuya. I have to go Kumusha kuna ita form 1 and form 2. Form 3, form 4, mama wangu had to go and negotiate with the mom. Kuti mama nda tambura nevana ava, please help me. With some of it. For your mom and your dad? For my mom, this is what I said, Takawanda, and I told you. Takamova, TD8. My mom moved with the eight of us to the village. Kumondoro. Ha ha ha. Meantime, Bokuri Ramkado, Mamuyaka, Murukishin. It is what it is. But what I'm saying is, the reason why I'm sharing all this is because people need to know the background of a person yeah. before they can start. Kuti, I want to be like Funga. If you don't want to be me, mm. really, mm. you want to be you, so you want to be inspired by my story and my journey. But anyway, you want to embrace your own journey and yeah. fall in love with it yeah. because God is busy preparing you for a bigger journey. And even when I look back now, all this which I've just narrated, mm. God was preparing me for something bigger because then I learned to be resilient. I learned to say, you know what, in this life, nothing is given. Mm. You work for it. Mm. So even for me, though I am married, happily married and everything, but as a person, I have got my own journey that I am walking and seeking my purpose, mm. that God which has got in store. So, Pakuzonyura Olevo, my grandmother, takes me in. Mm. Mm. The struggle is real. Someone. Because, mm. my, though my grandmother is taking me in, but remember, my mom mm. is not legally married to my dad. Oh. Saka, so, this grandmother is busy taking my mother, whose husband did not marry. You tell me how that is. <laughs> Pachi Bano. Inya Yakai. Sakanya in a tauri kamumba every day. Vanave Vanavaka day Vanavaka day Vanavaka day. How does that emotionally impact on these children? Saka people you will read it in a basa to be responsible for other people's emotions, for other people's lives. Because what we say these children are listening it's affecting them but we don't realize do we yeah so that's how i felt all over because okay. i was emotionally unstable and they were dislodged wa, from we are dislodged, your friends wa. your social networks your school things that you were used to when it was in a different mm -hmm. environment in exam that's year right. that's right you and the commercial quick way do you know how far the school was mm -hmm. i i drove back i was commercial in september so I always go to see my mom still live in Mondoro. Mm. I go to Mondoro with my mama. That school was 12 kilometers plus away. Taifamba. Taifamba. Not in Dai. Me and my siblings. Taifamba to change the school. Taifamba at 4 o'clock. We have to walk to that school one hour. Mangaya and Rukujigaya, the reason why I'm addicted to them is because that was the lunch. Mama went to boiler night before Mangai. She makes them ready. Pick, pick my, my packet of sugar. Kuchkoro. Saka, you tell me, Kuti, coming from that, mm. taught me resilience. Yeah. Taught me, Kuti, 
everything for this life. Yeah, you fight, fight for, for it. it. Nothing is given. You fight yeah. for it. So even for failing that O level, mm. I knew kutika ndika sadza kuita kuchikure ndika nonyora foot. Then what? Wait a second. Don't e. And when you go to open crossroads, really, exactly. at that point, it's yeah. really a yeah. case of you either make a decision to go one way yeah. or you go make a decision to go or another. you get married and be Shana. like your mother and you have eight children Shana. Shana. <laughs> you can get married <laughs> wow and if you're joining you us tonight this is the diaspora urgent question with me host carol Nyakujga, where tonight we have the honor and the privilege of having Fungai Ndemera, who mm. is a multimillionaire right here in the united kingdom and of course on the program as I say, we aim to bust the myth that <laughs> says that Mazimba Sapotani, come on, that is a myth that we aim to bust. And we do that week in, week out on the Diaspora Urgent Question. And of course, on the program, our aim is to empower, to encourage, to inspire the, per the next person out there that wants to reach their goal and their purpose. And of course, we then continue to speak to Fungai Demera and I'm Karen Yakuja. <coughs> Make sure that you are sharing this thread uh, and help the next person. Help the next person. Yeah. Saka, you went to nurse training school? Yes. So where, where did you train? Is it I, pa, I trained Kupareri Nyatwa. Oh. Um, anyway, eh. when I tell my story, eh. this is all God engineered, Caroline, because I cannot say you could. It's not by might, nor by power, Amen. nor by knowledge. Amen. But when God. Mm who has put his hand mm. he, he then carries you mm -hmm. because in the fire that all of you are going to die and i couldn't stay with my grandmother could in your foot so my sister mm. bless her heart my mm. she is the one who was already working my sister lynette my not she's already here with us in the uk oh. she's amazing oh. yeah she had to grow up quick quick she is the one who I had to go and stay with her. She is also, I think, if I, when I look back, mm. she was also young, trying to find herself. She's just working Kuarare, yeah. Kusheraton Hotel. She's working as a waitress there. Yeah. Okay, come, let's mm -hmm. stay. We are on your foot. Mm. So I had to move in with my sister, mm. Kuarare Kuya Kuya, mm. and look for the school in Jumbe Chikoro. But because it was late and stuff, I couldn't find in Jumbe Chikoro in a normal school. So I had to join. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know why I could have been in school. I But yeah. So I, uh, I enrolled in oh Highfield. Pamurimwe. Pari yo parents Pamurimwe ku Highfield. If there are people on the show, Pamurimwe, I enrolled. Oh. I enrolled because I, did, I told myself, I'm not a failure. This is awful. So I, I told my sister, could you please, if she can pay me for eight subjects, I would, I would write and do it again. And I promise I am going to pass. Oh. So my sister said, okay, I'm going to sacrifice. Yeah, I just go marry. Meantime, my dad, this is a non-event to him. I've just told him, my father, oh. was something, it's a non-event, all these children. Oh. It's a non-event. So, you know, when I talk to young people, I am very passionate because... Our young people nowadays, they've got a sense of entitlement. Hey, my parents, uncle, they should have done this. Hey, and I've done so for because the mom didn't buy me this. Yeah. But like, what? Anyway, it's also, we didn't have my parents who cared. They, they didn't. Uh, Kutichi, why? This, it's a non-event. You are just one of the many number of children. Hey, <laughs> So my sister had to jump in and say, hey, wow. wow, bless her soul. I'm What's telling your you. What's your sister's name again? My what Nati. My Nati. My Nati. <laughs> and to all the My Natis who are out there, you know, <laughs> girls, uh, men, boys, that have yeah. to step up into parents' shoes, you know, and take on that added responsibility. Thank you for your duty and your responsibility Absolutely. to our Absolutely. country. And Absolutely. maybe another time has come, ladies and gentlemen, Absolutely. especially if you're out here in the diaspora, where the call is out there again for us 
to perhaps take on that responsibility and jump in again for the sake of our nation. Ah, saka funge e, saka nuko uga ita si mnesi nguwa kukwa saka wati. Yes, so mm. staying with my nati now, the mm. zukurora form for yangu ya, eh. and it. So I promised kuti ndino nyora, I'll pass. Guess what? Eh. Muma flati mbo mataigara, there was a man. I got a chindu one and she thought Chikoro, the Chitok and Chino Chikoro. One day this man asked me, Kuti mwane yu ndinu ganchi kwe oona kuchinda kuchikoro. What do you want to do kana wa mwanyora? Nikati umufungi renyuka, I don't know. Ini nchandu ngweda kuli ndika wana basa. Then that will be good. I I want to find a job. Ndi chengete ambuya wangu. Ambuya wangu wakadi ndisa kuchikoro wa wata kutindi nyuro ufo mfo. And my mom, if I can do something, I just want to finish the passage college in the Tragabasa. For me, that was my biggest dream. That would have been an achievement. Because I just needed Kuti. They put it out of this drama. They will pay you with drama. Who knows? So so I this man asked me, Akati, all right. He gave me his number. Akati. Can I open the unyora? Can I marry out away? That's how I found Njimbo anything. I'm telling you. That means I can't go to Murume, get on my flat. I can't go to Mwana, I can't go to Noa Mwana. I can't go to Mwana, I can't go to Mwana. I can't pass and do what I need. I can't go to Mwana. I can't go to Mwana. Number is, I don't want to go to Mwana. Now, if that can't be God, which other God is bigger than that? I'm telling you. That's how I went for nursing. Otherwise, my story could be something else. I don't know. I don't know. That's how I went for nursing. Sure. And then so Kukwari Ide is definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely. So you know, and so here's a plan people, for you, all of us. Naiga. He does. And maybe you're out there today and you're thinking, good, for you, you haven't quite found what your plan is, quite found what your purpose is. And if there's someone who's out there and they're thinking they're just in a bit of a wilderness, they don't know which way to go, they don't know what direction to take, what, what, what would you say to them? The key is kutika munu ziva jauri kuda out of life from day one. And it, like I'm explaining, kuti ilinika, I made that decision, kuti poverty, kai, uruambo uu wakanga waka nunira in the family. Ilin, I did not want that life. It used to drive me through the roof, kuti why do people have so many children be irresponsible? And not have money to look after them. Mm -hmm. And my question to God was, God, why have I been born in this family? Mm -hmm. oh, just tell me why. And so, when I would go to church, my prayer day in, day out was, God, give me one chance. I don't need two. One. One chance. One, one, one chance. And if I can have that chance... My dream was kuti ndi chinje upenyu wa mai wangu, upenyu wa vana wa mai wangu, upenyu wa mbuya wangu. Everyone that has to do anything with me, the life needed to change because this life here was not acceptable, Caroline. It was hard, my dear. So even the chenda uchukora, I was focused. Zwe kuti hanzi mashamwari, zwe kuti kanandisina shamwari zangu, I can't do this, and kanandisina ninga, I can't do that. We all have to drop it. I'm telling you because your own life, I'm always saying this, this matters about one person and you and your purpose and what God has got in store for you. So we have to chase that every day. Mm. It's good to be inspired by what other people are doing, mm. but don't allow others' paths to cross yours because you will mm. you've got your path. Mm. So if girls, you are watching out there, I've got a message for young girls. Mm -hmm. Even I was also young. Pandakanga ndiri kamskana ikango kari young, beautiful, attractive. The men were coming like bees. They want to, want you. They want this, they want this. You as a girl, as a woman, what, what do you want out of this life? What plan do you have? Mm -hmm. Because getting married does not solve a problem. Mm -hmm. Getting married is not a qualification. Yes. It's not when you get married, you have got to contribute to that marriage.
to make it work. Mm. Because marriage it's a new journey, it's a new chapter. Mm. So when I see a lot of young girls, yeah, my goal my goals. Some of you have got marriage goals for twenty eighteen. <laughs> okay, it's good to have those goals. I also I am married by the way, seventeen years I've been married now. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh tell us about yeah. it. You have to tell us about it. I'm him. married. You have to tell so us about it. There is nothing wrong with marriage. Yeah. But I had I am an asset to this marriage. Yeah. I have brings things on the table. Kanababara, Mr. and Mira Wakafumans, Vachkoka Gombonas. Life goes on. Mm. Mm. I can take everything by the horns. Toto manya tchenda takadam. So girls and women, you want to, to you want to get married. Because mm. then when you get into the marriage, you think you've arrived. Mm. You arrived way. You've arrived way. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you that this is the Diaspora Radio question with me. I'm Karen Yakujga. I am totally honored and inspired to be uh, in the presence of such greatness. And of course, today with me, I have Fungai Ndemera. Fungai Ndemera, really, you have got to share this. If there's a girl out there that wants to be inspired, that wants to be motivated, if there's a man out there, if there's a child out there that wants to be motivated and wants to reach their own personal best, well, tell them to tune into the Diaspora Urgent Question. It may not be a story for you. But you might know somebody else that needs to hear this message today. And so tell them to tune into the program and we will be with you right after this break.